I have had cancer twice, testicular cancer, then more recently, squamous cell cancer of the esophagus. I go into this excessive personal detail as license for what I'm about to say. You see, Quebec Bill 52 would have us legalize killing our patients and assisting suicide, but Bill 52 calls all that medical aid in dying. As Humpty Dumpty said, when I use a word, it means just what I want it to, neither more nor less. How odd. Medical aid in dying? I thought that's what I'd been doing for the last 40 years. Medical aid in dying. What a clever, fog-promoting, cowardly distortion of the language we see in Bill 52. But I would disagree with the people who say it's only an incremental change. I believe it's a seismic shift, a radical shift in our foundational values on which we base our societies. And I think if you look at euthanasia and you ask why for well over two and a half thousand years physicians have never regarded it as medical treatment, I think that gives us a pretty good basis for arguing that this is a pretty radical departure to suddenly think it is medical treatment. Now the Royal Vic team we put together 40 years ago demonstrated that the control of pain and other symptoms and support for patient and family that is life-affirming can be achieved with palliative care and indeed may lead to positive in potentials for both family and patient that they had not thought possible. Our focus is on life and living, not death. Our goal is optimal quality of life for those at the end of life and their families. But the indictment of our governments and health care planners is that we cannot. Less than one third of us have skilled palliative care when we need it. That fact, I would argue, is an argument for asking why not an argument for killing people. My dad, uh, he, he was a crop duster pilot, and um, he, on his way to work, the, the rotating blade flew off of the helicopter, and uh, he, he fell. The whole thing came crashing down. So all this to say that uh, my dad's now paralyzed from the waist down, um, but we've we've gone through a lot of difficult things, but we made it work. We didn't ask the question, when will life be beautiful again? But we said, how, how can we make life beautiful now? Um, I wouldn't have gone into music therapy if it wasn't for my dad. Um, I, and, and he inspired me to start writing music, so. Um, and now I work as a music therapy intern at Montreal General Hospital in the palliative care unit. In a postmodern secular society, which is what we are in Canada, the two institutions that carry the value of respect for life for the society as a whole are medicine and law. Law says you must not kill, and medicine says we care always, we cure where possible, and we never kill. Well, that's exactly what we're going to change. Legalizing assisted suicide and euthanasia fixes nothing. Furthermore, the principle that doctors must not kill patients stands. Two moral wrongs don't make a right. The answer isn't to promote suicide. The answer is to promote being. Thank you.